So now here Konecki was in St. Louis just with the news from his manager that he was not a part of the team anymore. And just one day later, he would be dead. So let's take you to that fateful day on September 16th, 1935. So there were a few different details about that day. And kind of the stories, as you would imagine, nearly 90 years later, things have got a little bit jumbled. But here is the gist of what happened that night that led to Konecki's death in midair on an airplane. So after he got the news, he was flying back to the East Coast after being optioned to Rochester. As you can imagine, Konecki's dejected about his future. He's upset about what happened, probably a little bit angry. And he boards an American airline flight that was going to connect through Chicago on its way back to the East Coast. So during that flight, he was drinking a lot of whiskey. I don't know if he was drinking out of the bottle, how it was being served. As you can imagine, the times were different in 1935 on an airplane. I imagine heaters being burned down and ashtrays in the armrests. 